already. My Southern Opinion, welcome back. This is Eddie Steady. I will be bringing you battle rap, breakdowns, recaps, predictions, and today I got a double header for you. She go hard. They dropping battles. They got a bunch of cards coming up. She go hard doing a thing. Uh, battle rap is on another level right now. We're going to have something going on every weekend. Rather if it's King of the Dot, RBE, URL. Got something going on every week. RBE is this weekend. We got all kind of small battle leagues. I'm a fan of battle rap. So I'm watching everything. I got plenty more videos coming to you. Uh, videos that you probably won't watch. Battle rap. Uh, battles that you probably wouldn't watch. I'm going to be bringing you recaps on those. Bringing you recaps for everything battle rap. Not just the big names. Not just URL. From small leagues to backyard leagues. I'm bringing you everything. Got a lot of videos coming. Stay tuned. This is my Southern Opinion. And today... We got a doubleheader from She Go Hard. And the first battle was J Love versus Miss Petty. Now, let me make sure I got that right. Let me make sure I got this right. Uh, yeah, J Love versus Miss Petty. Don't want to tell y'all anything wrong. Now, J Love versus Miss Petty. This was a. Shock, va uh, shock value match, to say none the least. It was very entertaining. Miss Petty showed up. Um, Miss Petty showed up. She did a thing. Now, J-Love, the whole time Miss Petty is rapping, I'm looking at two twins, right? I can't help. I'm looking at two twins. Um, I noticed them the whole battle. By the end of the battle, the sheep jump across the gate. Or one of the sheep get dragged out the gate, really. Now, we had some celebrities in the building. Tommy from Power. He was standing behind J-Love. I said to myself, damn, is that Tommy? That is Tommy Egan. Yeah, surprised the mess out of me. We got Tommy Egan in the battle from Power. Um, we may have a few more celebrities in the house, but I didn't see none like Tommy right up front. Maybe Ghost was in there too. Who knows? But anyway, Miss Petty did her thing. She did good. Now, she also rapped about J-Love having Ghost Riders. Now, you can see Pep in the background. You can see uh, Tommy Egan. Uh, you can see other guys. And she was saying how she got Ghost Riders. She battling a team of Ghost Riders. When J-Love starts spitting, she was on her stuff. She had it down packed. Now, if you did have a Ghost Rider, she sure did memorize the material good. You know what I mean? Because you can have somebody write for you, but... You got to memorize the shit and you got to spit it with conviction. And you got to spit it like you wrote it. So with that, yeah, she did. I don't know if the girl had a ghostwriter, but she sure did deliver. And she sure did do her thing. Now at the end of the battle. Now this is like 20 minutes long. 20 some minutes into the battle is when the girl flashes the camera. Now the white dude behind her, he actually pulls her bra from this side, when she says a ball, her, her titty pop out. Now they blur it out, motherfuckers. They blurred it out, and you can't see it, but hey, it is what it is. And not only did she do it, but she did it twice. And the second time, the dude pulled it even harder. Damn near ripped the girl's blouse. I mean, uh, damn near ripped the girl's shirt, you know what I mean? And uh, to where her titty would have just been hanging out unless somebody give her a t-shirt. White boy wilding out, man. He ripped that. He ripped her shirt kind of wild, man. And that had to have been her boyfriend. And I got a feeling J Love will definitely be back. Uh, I could smell a Yoshi G versus her or somebody. Uh, the shock value definitely took this battle over with that. 
Now, don't get me wrong. It was a lot of bars in there. But also, you wasn't expecting that at the end of the battle. And if you heard about this battle, it would made you, it would make you either fast forward to the end or watch the whole battle. You can watch the whole battle. You ain't really wasting your time with it. It's a pretty good battle, man. If you're a fan of battle rap, I think you'll like the battle. Now, moving on to the next battle. Now, this I do have notes for. This is one of those ones. Very good battle. I was very entertained. We got Cleveland versus Miami, Florida. From Cleveland, we got Flawless. And from Miami, Florida, we got Nunchy Chinks. Flawless victory. Uh, Nunchy Chinks goes first. She had a bar saying uh, flawless victory. After that, she had a nice little old setup where Cleveland, uh, that cartoon, the, um, the Cleveland, that Cleveland show how it's tied in the family guy, the same guy made it. She had a bar like this, this Cleveland, this Cleveland girl or, or get the round of the gun, even, even the family guy or something like that. But it was fire, man. Next she had tuck a pound. Then, uh, she say anybody messing with, anybody messing with chink will get their chin chat, chin tap. Very fire. Uh, carry a baby. Next little line she had, it was very fire. Uh, nice little setup for it. Then she hit him with one of the biggest haymakers of the round, which was if I give you a hickey, it would be a sucker move. But the lead up was, you know, it was fire, man, how she said it. And the, the lead up to it. It was like maybe a eight bar setup leading to that. Next you go into another six bar setup, ended with buzz cut. Very fire. Then she had little squares like hotel soap. With like a, a six bar scheme into that. Very nice. Then she ended it with flaws and all. But go watch the battle. You'll see what I mean. And uh, why you know, I took these notes on these particular lines. Because it was the line that really. It, it set off the, the whole bar scheme that they had. For whatever the six set up or the eight set up. Whatever it was. Sometimes even twelve bar setups. Now, we got Cleveland, flawless. She said, I only came to We Go Hard. She said, I'm only here because I, I heard that uh, We Go Hard niggas love fat bitches. You can see, you can see all kinds of facts. Facts all in the room. I love the energy from We Go Hard. Well, She Go Hard. I love this energy. You know, motherfucker could be rapping and you hear the, the entourage. Look at her face. Look at her face. And... Talk to her. All that old kind. I love that, man. That's that battle rap energy. You can't even have that without no crowd. I love that, man. Not too much. Don't go overboard. But we need that. We need that. Talk to her. We need all that. that that's, that's, that's what I love about battle rap, man. It's hype. I love all the people all in one room. And they all loving this. You know what I'm saying? It's, it stands out to me as one of the things I liked about battle rap. Uh, not the super hot fire, the parody, but some along that line. I love how everybody being sync and they love bars and they going crazy over bars. You know what I'm saying? It's um, what can I say? I'm a true hip hop head in the South. Still a true hip hop head. You know what I'm saying? Um, but let's move on. After the fat bitches, she had a line where saying, I'm in the court. I won't lie on my pen. Uh, liar, liar. Basically saying that the girl, um, that, you know, she'll have a ghost rider. These females be having ghost riders. And I would never lie on my pen like liar, liar. Next, she had uh, seashells. And I think I done heard this line before, but I'm going to leave that alone. She had, next, she had a mean line saying joint custody. Very nice. Fire. Then she had one, Stony Brother. Everybody know the movie um, Stony Brother got killed. I think it set it off. Uh, very good movie. Then she had one, Sack Race, Jump in My Bag. 
But she was on fire. Like, this whole little, like, she got to rapping fast. It was a nice little cadence. She got in and out of pockets on this. And it ended with a uh, jump in my bag. Then she had on a pole to hell Lil Nas X. Man, that was fire. Now, her rap style is a little different than uh, Chink's. Just a little different. But like I say, both of them got different styles. That's what you love about battle rap, the different styles. Nobody wants everybody rapping the same. Then she had Mirror Her Mind, followed by Love First. Like if uh, you kill my loved one, if I kill a loved one, it's because you killed mine first. She ended it with everybody, every bitch want to be, every bitch want to be the goat, but it's the elephant in the room to have people's uncomfortable. Fire. Um, this battle, I got to give this to, I'm going to give this to Chinks. Her energy was on 100. She had bars. And I think her round was just a little longer. Um, she did kind of stumble on her slogan at the end. But I think that was the cause of it being out of breath. Um, I think I got Chinks winning this. It was a one rounder. But if you want to say that Flawless won, I wouldn't be mad at you. This could go either way. It was, um, I mean, either way. It's very opinionated. Both of them had flawless rounds. Both of them didn't choke. Uh, you can give it to, you know, either one. But um, this is the recap. I, I definitely think the battle was worth it. She go hard. I'm looking forward to y'all battles when y'all do have them. I'm liking the she go hard energy. I'm liking the room. Uh, I'm liking the crowd y'all got. It's entertaining. Jazz the Rapper's the host. Got a lot of battle rappers in the room. It's not a waste of time. If you see a We Go Hard, definitely kick, uh, click on it. And if you got uh, maybe 20 minutes or 30 minutes of, of time to watch it, go ahead and watch it. It's not a, it's not a waste of time. Uh, I like She Go Hard. Keep up the good work. And this is my Southern Opinion. Thank you for watching. Thank you. All the new subscribers, hit the subscribe. I'm going to have a lot of videos coming to you. All my subscribers already, I appreciate you. And if I tell you a duck can pull a truck, man, hook them up. I'll be right back to you with another one. Holla.